Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're taking a look at the top three resources you can use to study for your Salesforce certification. It doesn't matter if you're going for your admin, your platform app builder, maybe even your business analyst certification. These are my three favorite resources for studying and I've used all three of these to help me pass my certification exams. But if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. I'm putting out new Salesforce content each week and let's go ahead and jump into this video. The number one resource I would recommend for studying for Salesforce certifications is Focus on Force. I love their platform. It's easy to use. You can use it on your phone as well. They have slides that you can go through, practice exams, quizzes at the end of each of the sections. And overall, it's just a pleasant experience. And the material aligns very closely with what is actually on the exam. And what better way to prepare for an exam than taking practice exams that are timed. And you can also, if you miss questions on them, they'll tell you what the correct answer was and why the other ones are not correct on the practice exams. So it's really super helpful. So let me show you what the platform looks like. And as you can see, I'm logged into my Focus on Force account. Uh, as you can see right here, the administrator course is available to purchase. They're only good for one year after you purchase the um, exam course, which is plenty of time for you to study for um, you know, your certifications. I still have my business analyst certification where I purchased it and we can take a look at it. So looking at like the study guide here, you can see some really good information. It breaks it out by section and then you can look at each topic and you can go into detail on these. Um, we'll just click on the first one here for an example. You can kind of see the lessons and you scroll down. They have um, a slide deck here and this is one of 26 slides for this section. And you can go through and work through the table of contents. Um, it is a really useful resource. And then clicking back on this other tab, they also have practice exams. Now I won't show any of the questions that they have on here, but I'll kind of show you what the landing page looks like here. We have the topic exams, and you can see how I scored on these here. <laughs> but it has two practice exams and a third one called the question bank. I really enjoy this. It pulls in all the questions for the exams and then assigns them to you randomly. I don't know if you're like me, but if you ever do exams, you can kind of like start guessing what the questions are if you take it too many times in a row. Um, so yeah, especially if you're taking the same two. So I really like this because it randomizes the questions here. So yeah, Focus on Force is my number one resource for studying for Salesforce certification. This is a really great profile and I'd highly recommend it. My number two resource that I would recommend for studying for Salesforce certifications is the trail mixes that are made by Salesforce themselves on the Trailhead website. They are great, especially if you're trying to learn the concepts and you need to get some more hands-on experience. Going through and working through each section uh, is extremely helpful, but the way I would recommend using it is if there's a concept that you're just struggling to really grasp, it could be master detail relationships or maybe validation rules, do as many trailhead sections on those as you can to get hands-on experience. It is a great resource, and I'll kind of show you what the Salesforce admin trail mix looks like. So the way you can get to it is I'm on the administrator study guide. You can go to whatever certification you're studying for to find these, um, but you can go here and you scroll down. They have some resources available for you, and you can see trail mix, prepare for your Salesforce administrator credential. I have this open in a new tab. And this is what it looks like. So it's you know made by Salesforce Trailhead. Always look out for those. People make their own trail mixes and sometimes they're good, but I like sticking with the ones made by Salesforce themselves. And as you scroll down, you got the um, overview section. It's just quick facts about the exam. And then it breaks it out by section. So Salesforce platform basics, prepare for your Salesforce org for users, user management, customize an org to support a new business unit, identify basics, but really, it's just great to get hands-on experience, you earn badges, and work your way up to Ranger rank in the trailhead. And the third thing I would recommend to do if you're studying for a Salesforce certification is to take advantage of the free practice exam from Salesforce for the certification you're looking for. If you're on the exam page, you can find this exam and I'll show it to you. This is a great resource from Salesforce themselves, so you can actually get more practice taking these exams. Let's take a look at it. Now I'm back over here on the administrator landing page about the exam. And if you scroll down here, it has interactive practice tests for the Salesforce certified administrator exam from Salesforce. You can click on this here and you can either take this timed or untimed. I'm just going to hit untimed. 
and it's one of 30 questions, and you can work through these, and at the very end, it will score you. This is a great resource. Please take advantage of this. I have always tried to take advantage of these when studying for my um, exams if they're available. It's a great resource, and you can really find out where you stand you know, before you take your exam. And I actually have one more thing I would recommend uh, doing if you're studying for your Salesforce certification. So the fourth thing I would recommend is actually just creating your own sandbox and just trying to play around and figure it out. You know, how does data load work? How can I log into the mobile app? How do these master detail relationships work? Let me see if I can break the system and just have fun with that. And with your sandbox org, go on YouTube. There's a lot of great content creators. You can look at my some of the videos I've created out there for flows and different things and follow along with that to get more practice. And there's plenty of other tutorials you can find to work through. So I would really recommend just working in your sandbox, especially if you don't have that experience um, if you're a new admin or maybe you're going for the Salesforce associate exam, those are great resources that you can do to prepare for that exam and ultimately pass it on your first try. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different than just a tutorial walkthrough, but I thought this was a very informative topic and wanted to kind of give you my opinions on some great resources to study. I wish you nothing but the best and I hope you pass your exam on the first try. But if you like the video, leave a like and also leave a comment with any questions or comments that you may have. And I will see you in the next video.